What's up guys? So today we're going to go over how to make custom emotes for the Rain Meter Skin Honeycomb. And we're also going to go over how to make them glow when you mouse over. So it's not too complex, but it looks really nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by opening GIMP. You can also use Photoshop. Uh, I prefer GIMP. It's kind of a nice program. Now once you have GIMP open, actually going to set it to the side. Open your rain meter. Go to your honeycomb skin. And open the folder. So this is our honeycomb folder with all of our different programs. And actually you can go here and open the template. Click convert. And here is the template image. Now if you don't want to do it like this, because I find that the template is a little bit of a pain to work with, you can go to resources, images, and with GIMP open, which I don't know why I closed it, you can just drag an image. And now it's all one layer. So it really depends on how you want to work on it. So now we need to decide what program we're going to make. So I'm actually going to make DaVinci Resolve. So I'm going to load up my Google and I'm going to look up DaVinci Resolve logo. Pick one that you like, copy it, paste it in GIMP. Once you've pasted it, right click it over here to new layer. I'm also going to scale this layer. Um, let's go for about half the size. So that looks about good. Now when I'm on this layer, I'm going to select all these colors. I'm going to get rid of them because I don't really want them to be there. Uh, same thing for these guys. So once you're done cleaning up the outside, we can now freely move the logo. So I'm going to center this, and now I'm going to select the other layer, I'm going to select this background. I'm going to set the color that I want to set this background to. Alright, so I like that purple. So this is actually all I'm going to be doing to this guy. So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to click export as, and you can notice that it exports because I dragged the image in from this honeycomb folder. When I go to export, it exports right to that, which is pretty great. So we're going to export this as resolve. All right, and now without going anywhere, you can see that the resolve logo is now in our folder here. And without going anywhere, I'm going to make the glowing icon for this. So the first thing we're going to do gonna grab our layer. Or I'm sorry, we're gonna go to colors, hue saturation, bring the lightness up to about 55, bring the saturation up all the way. We're gonna do the same thing for this other layer. and all the way up. Okay, so now it looks lighter. So now we're going to work on the outline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, make sure you're selected on the hexagonal layer, pick that part, and these parts. Doesn't really matter. I'm actually going to make a new layer right now. 
doesn't really matter what it is. I'm going to put it all the way at the bottom. Now I'm going to go to my selection. And I'm going to grow the selection. Let's try 5 pixels. Not enough. I'm actually going to go by 10. So a total of 15 pixels. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bucket. So notice the, the opacity is about 64%. And we're going to fill this selection with white. And notice that because this white layer is behind the hexagon, it only outlines it. So now I'm ready to export this. So I'm going to export it as Resolve Glow. Or you can call it Resolve 2 or whatever. Anything that you know uh, how to find it. So I'm going to export that. Export. Okay, great. Now back in the honeycomb folder, I'm going to take one of the existing folders, I'm going to copy and paste it right back in, and I'm going to rename it. So we're going to name it Resolve. We're going to rename this file. We're going to go on in here. We're going to change everything that's going on in here. The default image should be resolve. The left mouse up action, you're going to find on your computer where the program is installed. So right here, properties. Get the target. Copy it. Throw it on in. So now that's done. So close this down. Refresh them. Let's see our new Resolve logo. There we go. You can do with that as you see fit. And you'll notice that it doesn't glow yet. So what we're actually going to do is I'm going to edit this real quick. And we have this little bit of code. Which changes the mouse over and the mouse leave action. So I'm going to add that here. So when you mouse over it, you want it to be the glowing image. And when your mouse leaves, you want it to put back the original image. So that's it. So now we save that, refresh the skin, and now our icon glows. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, I'm going to leave the bit of code in the comments or in the description, rather. Uh, till then, take it easy.